12 past 10 picking up from where we left off last night that's the tree that tried to attack me still on George's River Road heading towards Oyster Bay and coming up to First Avenue the first of six avenues numbered one through to six not surprisingly now this roundabout here that splits George's River Road George's River Road I always tongue twist that one and First Avenue in fact we'll just go out onto the roundabout I think I can got a story to tell you from the roundabout doesn't necessarily have to be on the roundabout but I'm gonna tell it there so this area on this side of Janali I'm not gonna go down and explore because I'm heading this way to Oyster Bay so we've come from up here Box Road we're cutting through George's River Road we're gonna go all the way down to Oyster Bay but the story I'm gonna tell just a little quick story while we're here behind me on this side um, mates of mine grew up in uh, this is in the skate community I showed you the Hapton Style magazine by the way I forgot to mention that Hapton Style magazine Paul Walsh also the guy who the music I use we showed you his old family home right here last night he actually was one of the founding members or founding editor of Hapton Style before he gave it to me him and Gav my cousin created Hapton Style I forgot to mention that last night that's aside from the point tonight skateboarding though down this way in the back of Janali there was um, a mate of mine Peter Oste who you haven't seen on my vlog because he doesn't live in this area he lives out in the country now he had um, a really you know a good a good ramp in his yard it was like eight foot eight foot one side seven foot the other which was large for the time we all had mini ramps that was a vert ramp but there were local crew that rode it as well people that were out of my scene but they were rippers you know they were the, the good skaters one guy in particular a guy named Les now Les was a bit of a ripper for his age he was he was good he had some good tricks some front side airs and backside airs when we were all just doing fakies Les was kind of you know a bit of a guru and he was a little bit older so he was a bit intimidating and he made a comment to me that I look like the kind of kid who would write to a skateboard magazine to ask for Nardis Corpus's signature now Nardis Corpus was um, a really well respected street skater from America I'm not sure which part of America but he was a guru at the time and yeah Les absolutely hammered me with that quote saying you're the kind of kid who would write to the magazine asking for an autograph and um, the reason I'm telling that story right here is because this used to be a corner store right here literally I don't want to be intrusive of, of the people that now live here but this used to be you would walk in here straight in there into a corner store and Les used to work there I believe his family owned it's it's a house behind the store as well yeah I believe Les's family owned it and he worked in there so whenever we used to go in like you know we'd be over in Shoreland Avenue at Ostie's having a skate we'd come back through here to go and get some red sharks <laughs> and we'd go in there and Les would just rip us a new one and it was it sucked because you want to you want to buy something and you got to put up with being taunted by an older guru funny days that's a short story about Les and skateboarding and this all went down in circa 1991 92 93 no probably 93 because I was well 93 94 how bad's my memory 